Hey everyone, it's NHL Hawk News Report, and welcome back to another video. Yes, today we're talking about Canadian teams. The last time they've been to the finals in the, in the 2000s era. Um, as you see on the board, not many on the board, but let's get into them. And we got some really interesting ones. Canadian teams that got to the final in 2000s. Now, we, we all remember the last time a Canadian team won the Stanley Cup was the Montreal Canadiens in 1993. So no team in the 2000s ever has won the Stanley Cup. Not in 2010 ever, and not in the uh, 2000 era whatsoever. But there has been teams very close to winning the Stanley Cup. Canadian teams very close to winning the Stanley Cup. We'll get into those right now. Four, four matchups here. 2004, 2006, 2007 and 2011 and we also a little bonus feature here to uh in this video today is the conference finals since 2012 to 2021 and what teams got to the conference final almost the finals but got knocked out because maybe a better team maybe injuries or whatever things they had in their way so let's get into the first one 2004 we all know who won the Tampa Bay Lightning, and the Tampa Bay Lightning had a really, really interesting opponent, Neil, and they had the Calgary Flames. Now, Calgary had, who they have? Off the top of my mind, I think of Jerome Laguna, I think uh, Nikita uh, Kipasov there, great goalie, great ringer, great captain, and Jerome Laguna, and let's get into it. So, you start off game one, and the Flames win 4-1, to one, giving the Flames a 1-0 to nothing series lead. And then you see the Lightning tie up the series 4-1. to one. And then you have the Flames taking a 2-1 to one series lead. So the Flames are taking the lead here. And this so it looks like, oh, well, maybe the uh, Flames could win the Stanley Cup and be the one since 1993 to win the Stanley Cup as a Canadian team. Well, they tie it up. I mean, um, let me get 2-1. to one. And then Tampa wins 1-0. 2-2. And then in Game 5, in the, uh, the last game, the Flames win uh, 3 to 2. Uh, but then, in Game 7, the Lightning win and they become victorious. And they win to move on to win the Stanley Cup. So the Lightning win over the Flames in Game 7, 4 to 3. It's a series for you. But the Flames got so close, so close to knock off the Lightning. And the Flames had. For the series, they had the lead in the series. It's just the Lightning came back 3-2, three 3-3, to 4-3, to the series, and the Lightning win. So there was another opportunity out the window for Canadian team to win the Stanley Cup in this 20, uh, 2000 era and 2010 era, right? So, 2006, you have the matchup of the Carolina Hurricanes and the Edmonton Oilers. Now, Carolina, off the top of my head, who I think of, Rod, Brenda Moore, you have some really good guys out there. Um, right off the top of my head, I think of him. Cam Ward, the rookie goalie, uh, young goalie for sure. Eric Stahl, the young, you know, offensive, talented player. You have some really good players here. Um, but the Oilers, on the other hand, they had... Chris Prongo, they had Alice Hemsky, they had some guys here, and both teams going at it. And the Oilers had their dynasty, oh, they had the really incredible run with Rain Gretzky, Mark Messier, that whole, you know, core they had. This was a different core. You know, you go from, all right, we don't have those guys, now you're back to the finals. This was like, all right, finally things look better ever since the Gretzky area. Here we go. But. We have the Carolina Hurricanes, and they're trying to get the first stand the cup. Well, guess what? The Hurricanes win in Game 7. But, 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 the Hurricanes win the first game in the series, 5-4. to four. Then, the Hurricanes take a 2 to nothing series lead, 5 nothing. Like, alright, Hurricanes, alright. Hurricanes winning this one, looks like already. You know, just slam dunk. It's going to be the Hurricanes. No questions asked. Hurricanes all the way. Hold on a sec. Put the brakes on for a sec. In game three, two to one Oilers. Then, in game four, two to one Carolina. Three one. So now the Oilers are facing elimination. Three to one in the series. Now, 
injuries start to mount for these Carolina Hurricanes. You start to lose this guy, this guy, dropping like everything. Losing players in your lineup, and your depth is losing. Because the Oilers are battling like anything. And the Hurricanes are losing players, left and right at this point. So, you know, it's going to get the Hurricanes, it's going to get the Oilers, I should say, a advantage to win. You go into this, the Oilers win, 4 to nothing, And this is where they win. So then they bring this thing to a Game 7. But the Hurricanes manage to win the Stanley Cup in Game 7. And yeah, another missed opportunity for a Canadian team to win the Stanley Cup. Now the Oilers had a great chance again. We had 2004 now, 2006. Now just a year after... Another Canadian team makes it to the final, but not as close. This one was in five. Now, of course, the Ducks went through to two in game one, then one to nothing in game two for the Ducks, and then in game three, the Oilers, I mean the uh, Canucks, not Canucks, oh my goodness, sorry, the, the not Oilers, Canucks, get that out of my mind, the Ottawa Senators, there we go, um, find some life here. Five to three they win. So, you know, that gives them a 2 to 1 series lead still for the Ducks. Then 3 to 1, um, and 3 2 was the score in game 4, making 3 to 2 series. And then the Ducks win the Stanley Cup and take off the uh, Ottawa Senators in a 6 to 2 victory, victory to win the Stanley Cup. Now, the Ducks had many chances. To, you know, they really wanted to win the Stanley Cup, and they finally did it in 2007 with Timo Solani, with. Um, you know, Scott Nina Mile, different ones you had, um, you know, you had Gigero too. You had some really good players, Gessoff, Perry, rookie seasons there, very good there. Of course the Ottawa Centers had Daniel Alfredson, Ray Emery, Danny Heatley, uh guys like that, but they just could not win it. And they fall short. Another Canadian team falling short once again. Going into 2012 was another one here. Canucks playing very well, cutting cutting off the Blackhawks in Game 7. Alexander Burrows with the OT winner, and they win them overnight. Was it Game 7? No, was it Game 6? They won, and they take out the Chicago Blackhawks, the one who was in 2010 Stanley Cup. You know, you see the Blackhawks, they were trying to get to the Finals in 2011 again for back-to-back. Canucks saying, yeah, no, it's not happening. Canucks go play the Bruins. And what an interesting series this one turned out to become. Look at this. Very interesting series. And Canucks don't like the series whatsoever. If they want to stay in the cup, they would love the series. But no. Not whatsoever. Looking at game one, Bruins and the Canucks, I gotta talk about this. This is incredible. Um, the Canucks win one to nothing, so this gives the series one to nothing to the Canucks. Then the Canucks win, and they win three to two over the Bruins, two to nothing series lead. Canucks fans are going crazy. They know, oh man, could this be the year since 1993 for Canadian team to win the Stanley Cup? Could we be the ones? Well, the Bruins just destroy the Canucks. Destroy the Canucks in Game Three, eight to one. Oh my goodness! Then the Bruins tie up the series with the score of four to nothing. It's two two in the series, so the Canucks are getting nervous now. Like, oh man, the Bruins are finding the finding life again. Oh man, this is terrible. We just blew a two to nothing series lead. Oh man, oh terrible. Are you kidding us? Then, the Canucks winning Game Five, one to nothing. Okay, so that gives them now a uh, three to two series win. Like, okay, it's okay, it's okay, everyone. You know, three to two, one nothing. They win. Okay, you know, Bruins facing elimination at this point. Canucks have a chance. You know, even if the Bruins tie it up, Canucks can go out there on Game 7 in Vancouver and show how it is. Well, the Bruins win in Game 6. 5-2. to two. And in the Game 7, the Bruins win. 4 to nothing. 
making the Bruins win the Stanley Cup since 1970, since Bobby Orr, but the Canucks fans are in just disbelief and just so mad they had riots in the streets in Vancouver. I'm sure you all know that, but man, wow, my goodness, the Canucks were so close. You see these four um, situations here? Three out of the four were so close in winning the Stanley Cup. But they just could not do it. Now, ever since 2011, we do not have a Stanley Cup final list of a Canadian team. Unfortunately, we do not. So, yeah, there wasn't any. So that's why I thought, you know what? I have some space on the board still because only four, te- four series. You see what I mean? Also, got some of the conference finals. How close did teams really get to the finals for Canadian teams? 2012, nothing. 2013, nothing. 2014, the Habs got to the conference final in the Eastern Conference against the Rangers. And the Rangers went in six. You can debate the Habs would have gotten to the final. You can debate that. A.K.A. Preston get hurt. This team could have been to the final. Um, either or, the Rangers win. And yeah, you know I'm a Habs fan. If Press was in, you know, Tatarski didn't do a terrible job. He was okay. He didn't do a terrible job like it was going to be the worst job ever. You know, he did an average job. Dustin Tatarski, not terrible. I don't think he did a bad job. You know what I mean? But the Rangers play the Kings, and the Rangers lose in five over the Kings in the Stanley Cup. And the Kings win in 2014. But Montreal was like, ah, oh, if we had Carey Price. But who knows? You never know. If if K Press was there, maybe they could have won. Maybe they still lose. Who knows? Who knows? Right? 2015, no Canadian teams get to the conference finals. Same thing for 2016, 2017. One of my favorite series of all time. The Ottawa Senators losing Game 7 and double OT over the Pittsburgh Penguins. You had Eric Carlson, Mark Stone. You had... Kyle Tillis, you had Mathot, Craig Anderson, you had the old core. This team believed that they were better than the Canadians, but they got to the Eastern Conference Finals here against the Penguins. Well, the Penguins, um, sorry, Sens fans, this is where your heart breaks, doesn't it? Uh, in that Game 7, both the Penguins had some talented players. We're talking about some really talented players. I'm talking about Sidney Crosby, Elvin Malkin, Nick Bonino, and Matt Cullen down the middle. I haven't even talked about the wingers. I haven't talked about the defensemen. And I didn't even talk about the goaltending. Alright? Matt Murray and goalie was spectacular in 2016-2017 as winning the Stanley Cup in those playoffs with Marc-Andre Fleury backing him up too. You just look at different things like this and you just like... Wow, Ottawa so close to get to the finals again, just like 20, 2007. It would have been almost Predators and the Ottawa Senators. My goodness, if that was a thing. Maybe the Predators would have won the Stanley Cup that year. Hey, who knows? Who knows? 2018, another Canadian team, the Winnipeg Jets. And they get to the conference final, but the Vegas going Actually, the first game, Winnipeg wins. You know that? But the last four, Vegas sweeps, uh, beats them there. Yep, the only game they could win was game one. Ever since that, they won four straight. And yeah, that killed the Jets off, giving them maybe some hope to be in the finals. But nope, 2019 nothing, 2020 nothing. And we knew 2021, looking at the divisions and what we had, the North Division, the East Division, the West Division, and the Central Division, and we see all these divisions, right? You look at these divisions, and you know that one player, one team from each division will make the semifinals, which is the last four teams. There will be one Canadian team, mandatory, if it was the Habs, the Leafs, the Jets, and the Oilers, one of them would be in the conference or the semifinals, keep saying conference, or the final four, right? And it became the Montreal Canadiens. And now they'll be playing Vegas tomorrow. Not tomorrow, Sunday, my bad, my bad. Wait, is it tomorrow? Today's Saturday, yes, yeah, Sunday, tomorrow's Sunday. Duh, sorry. Um, but yes, that's what it is. Actually, no. My bad again. Canadians play on Monday. 
tomorrow is the Lightning and the um, Islanders. What a game that's going to be. So we'll see if the Habs can do it. Can they get to the finals? This is what inspired me to do a video. Seeing the Habs back with the final four teams, like 2014. You know, um, just made me think of doing a video like this. So, thanks for watching. Any talk news reports, like the video, do the bell, comment, share. I will see you in the next video.